be a, a positive benefit there, I yeah, suppose. Yeah. I think it's, it's, it's scandalous how we, we were letting the, the, the pound fall apart. Um, and uh, we should never have lowered interest rates below uh, the uh, European Central Bank rates. We need all the capital we can to keep the system going. Um, and, and we need to attract it by paying, paying uh, reasonable interest rates. Yep. Um, and by slashing interest rates totally irresponsibly, uh, as we've done, uh, I, th I fear we're causing an even bigger liquidity crisis, and uh, we are an importing nation, so we will be importing inflation. Right. Do you think it's been worth all of the column inches that were dedicated to it? I think so. Uh, I think this is a, a, an ongoing saga that, that needs to be resolved. Um, the international community needs to get uh, a, a grip with uh, Mugabe. More importantly, the, the African themselves need to get to grip with, uh, with the situation. Um, and it's been deteriorating for years, uh, and we seem to have the inability to actually deal with the situation. Uh, it does uh, smack of hypocrisy. Yes. Uh, well, I think, um, I think it exposes um, a, a number of, uh, of different issues. Firstly, um, there are the issues of, uh, of looking at rules rather than a common sense approach. So uh, th these, these poor people managed to get hold of a, a Malawian passport in order to, to, to get out uh, and get over to, to the UK. Uh, and that's been used as, a, uh, as, as the reason for, for sending them back. Um, but it's also exposed right. that, that the fact that we have 280,000 um, asylum seekers in, in, right. in, this, uh, in this country who, who aren't allowed that to work. Refused, refused asylum seekers, in fact. Yeah. According to this. They're, yep. they're, okay. they're, they're here, then they're, they're not allowed to. Um, to work when people uh, uh, come as, uh, as asylum seekers, uh, but they're also not allowed to, to get benefits either. Uh, it seems to be a, a, a very, very strange situation. Right. They're not yes. part of the, uh, the, the economy, uh, and uh, uh, we, we have to support them. Well, I think we finally have to have a debate in this country about immigration. Uh, it's been decades since um, uh, we've even touched on the subject, and that's primarily because talking about immigration seems to be racist. Uh, well, it's not racist. We need to talk about the number of people entering the country. Uh, we need to discuss um, this in a, in a proper open uh, debate. Um, and recently, because most of the immigrants in recent times have come from Eastern Europe, we're finally uh, able to, to, to actually uh, uh, have a discussion about this. And I think, uh, um, yes, things have to change. You can't let an unlimited amount of people in, especially when the economy is, uh, is turning down. To help us track the fine print, we're joined from London by Marco Pietropoli, economist, RM Wealth Management from Earthen, California. We're joined by Professor Paul Schellenfeld, economic analyst, professor of accounting at the California State University, Fuller. And gentlemen, welcome to the show. But straight to our first pick tonight from AP Europe lobbies Bush for global market reforms. And it goes. European leaders are lobbying President Bush to camp David presidential retreat on Saturday to support a summit by year's end that would craft ways to reform the world financial system. French President Nicolas Sarkozy and European Commission President Jose Manuel Barroso are trying to convince Bush that now is a good opportunity to tighten and better coordinate control of the financial markets. In response to the economic crisis that has shaken markets, around the globe. Marco M. London, what exactly are the EU leaders asking U.S. President George W. Bush? Well, I feel that uh, in many ways it's uh, a little bit uh, too little too late. Uh, the deed has been done I I in many ways. The crisis we are in uh, will deepen. Uh, and yes, trying to find some solutions uh, for how things are managed moving forward uh, it is, a, is a wonderful idea, but uh, there has been complete lack of oversight o over the last 10 years uh, that has led us into this, uh, into this situation. How long, Marco, should Americans wait for this economy to rebound? Well, it's going to be uh, quite a wait. Uh, I think that there's a great amount that needs to be worked through. Uh, so far, really, we've had um, a significant downturn in the, in, in the housing market. It's then developed into a, a, a financial crisis that has spread uh, across the world. What we've got to look forward to in the short term is the impact uh, of all of this uh, on the real economy. But 
something that really hasn't been, hasn't been talked about uh, at length, I think you did touch on this uh, a little bit before, is where is all this money coming from uh, to actually uh, rescue uh, the economy? Uh, the, the British, the, the Americans, and most of the, the, the European countries simply don't have the reserves. So therefore, this has to be worked through. Uh, Mr. Bernanke and Mr. Paulson are going to need to put their, their, their best suits on and, and come out um, and look at raising uh, potentially trillions uh, over the next uh, uh, year and a half, two years, to keep the system liquid. They either get it or they don't. If they don't, uh, they'll be printing money, and therefore the financial uh, consequences um, of that um, is quite staggering.